Hello everyone. So in uh, in my previous video, I have shown you that how you can connect thermal receipt printer uh, using Ethernet cable and the router with your uh, computer. And also I show you how you can connect multiple receipt printers using the same setup of Ethernet and routers. So in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, use your mobile to print using this setup, using the setup of Ethernet and router, how you can connect your mobile with the router to print from your mobile applications directly to your uh, thermal receipt printer. So this will be using same router which I used in my previous video. And uh, I will show you how you can set up this. So just for a quick review, uh, this is the router. It is connected with my computer by this Ethernet cable and this second Ethernet cable. It is connected to the printer. Printer is already installed and configured in my computer. So I will not uh, do these steps. So if you need help in these steps to configure printer and router, you can watch my previous video. After connecting, you can uh, you can see the uh, bottom of the router to get the details, like how to access the router and what is the Wi-Fi uh, name and password. And for the purpose of connecting our printer with uh, uh, with router with our mobile, we need also need to know the IP address of the, our printer. So let's take the self test page. So our printer IP is 192.168.123.100. Okay. So in order to connect our printer and router using our mobile, our router and printer must have same IP address uh, except the last four, three digits. First nine digits should be same. So in case of this, 192.168.123 should be same for both of this. Um, so let's check how we can know the IP address of our router. So first of all, we need to connect our computer with the router Wi-Fi. So this is the router and I already put the password so I can just simply connect, but uh, you can also see the password from the bottom of your uh, router and uh, connect it. You can see that we can access the router settings using the this default access address tplink wifi.net. So let's open this address in our browser to see. Okay, let's open uh, TP link wifi.net. Press enter. It will open the settings page for the router. You can select English and let's select the password for the router. Okay, we are logged into the settings of our router. So after this, you need to go to network, LAN, and here you can get the IP address, the current IP address of the router, 192.168.0.1. So if you see that uh, we need these three figures, these three uh, parts of the IP, uh, they need to same for the router and the printer. So the printer's IP was 192.168.123. So now first three are same. Uh, let's just, we will, uh, change it to 10 it's it's fine if you don't change it but we need these three to be same uh, once you press the save button router will restart and then it will be and the ip will be changed press the save button okay once the router is restart we can the password login now if you will see the ip address is already ip address is already changed yeah you will see the ip address here so now we have uh, matched the first three parts of IP address of uh, printer and router. Let's move to the next step. We need this application, ESC POS Wi-Fi print service. And also you, you need to make sure that you are connected with the same router's Wi-Fi uh, on your mobile. So once you are connected with the same Wi-Fi and you have installed this application, let's open this application. Okay, so here preferred IP printer IP. So I already installed it before, so I have the IP saved, but you can give the IP address of your printer after checking it from the self-test page. And put the IP address here. Set, print, set printer IP address as uh, preferred, okay. Uh, set the printer size. Everything else you can uh, try. Okay, so let's take the, try the test print. 
Okay, so test print is printed and uh, we have successfully printed from our mobile to to the thermal printer using the Ethernet setup and uh, the router. This is the test print which we got from the from our mobile application. So it means that uh, our mobile is connected through the network with our printer. 